Geekology. I'm David Sevilla. And I'm Sven Harley. And tonight we're continuing with our brick construction project. Tonight's one, Halo Mega Blocks. Now, yeah. uh, the Blue Warthog was a special release, blah, 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 but they did a lot of special <laughs> releases for the And Warthog. most of it only came out over here because someone imported them. <laughs> yes, pretty much. So, Sorry. let's go with... Um, I'm not sure why it has you a Listen pilot. to people cry. I'm not sure why it has a pilot tag. Why does it have a pilot tag there? It doesn't open the box. Look, see it. Okay. <laughs> Negative points of packaging error. Oh, we didn't take photos of any of them. It doesn't really matter. It's one. Okay. We'll just empty it out, shall we? That's a little Spartan. Oh, he wants to hear from you. Join me. That's okay. interesting. Cool. And here's a little stickers! Coat. Well, I knew you do. You're doing that bit. Oh, I did the stickers bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, first of all, lots and lots of hats. Oh, are we this... going in a bad order? Yeah. In the case of we go to bag one, bag two, bag three, bag no, four, you're no, just throwing it all out. Do you want to look at the manual first? No. Okay. Nobody ever does it that way. Sorry. To... Oh my actual. Oh, I've built a couple of these little hogs in the past. I, I, I know that the manuals are not that specific in which bag you open. It is pretty much. Throw it all on. Pull it out. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what they do do, which is one of the things I do like about building the Mega Box Halo range, because I've built a few of the Halo range, is that uh, they have these little construction blocks, mm -hmm. which are bits that you build the frame around right. to actually build the thing. You know, um, well, when I we built the. Yeah. Okay, so Spartans, because it's very important you have Spartans with anything. Oh, sp oh, yes, they've given us two different visor versions. Which is not, okay. I know you're not a big thing for the Okay, you know when you go on to me about the different heads of Transformers? Yeah. For Halo, the different visors I know. on the Spartans. I, I know, know you know. <laughs> you like to feign ignorance about that. Halo, what's Halo? Yes. No, it's just when you try and make me play it, I'm like, no, not again, please, well, God, I, I, no. I know it's not your cup of tea, but you know. Halo Wars, yes, fair enough. Halo Wars is a, a hugely underrated game, and I don't yes. know why, because it's fucking awesome. Command and conquer! Okay, so we've emptied all the bits out, and now we go to some fast construction video. <laughs> One completed war song. Yes. Now, as this is technically a franchise that I'm a fan of, why don't you go first on the critique? First of all, what do you feel the negative parts of this were? My biggest problem was with the manual. Mm -hmm. um, the There's a lot of black parts in this. In yeah. the manual, they printed them as very, very dark black. So it's very difficult, especially for me, to be able to see which way up they were for a start because I started off and it didn't make it clear they were supposed to be upside down. In defence of the manual, I personally didn't have the problem to the extent you did. Mm. I did find it a little hard differentiating the black, yeah. but in fairness to them, they yeah, colour the colour, dots. Yeah. So At least the alignments were a bit yeah. more easy to get in. I can see why they've done it the way they have because yeah. it's one of the things we both comment on when the colours don't match yeah, the thing. Right. They could have probably gone with a slightly greyer hue, but on the other hand, they do other toys in the range that have grey plastic. So yeah. I've just got a feeling I would I, I, I personally would probably scan this in and just bring it up on like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give me a chance. Um, but you know, as I said, they do colour the yeah. dots. So yeah. I, I do feel that they've looked at it and gone how can we address that? Mm. Let's do this. But yeah, I'll, I'll, you have more of a problem with that than I did. Yeah. 
But I've built a few more of these than you have, so I'm kind of used to it. Yeah, you're kind just, of just cheating. Hang, well, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 it's just a case of flexing it to get the right shade in the light. Okay, what else was a drawback for you? Um, it was quite fiddly in places. Mm. I mean, part of, I mean, part of the fiddliness, to be honest, was, was going back to the fact that it was quite difficult to see what parts go where sometimes in the mm. instructions. So from time to time we ended up going back a step or two because something didn't align right and then we realised something was slightly in the wrong place. Um, but... Okay, so there was that. But yeah, but, um, you know, looking at it, it, it as, a, as, as a... It was a fun build. Um, even with the fiddliness, um, there's though there are a lot of very specialist parts to it, they haven't overdone it and no. replaced whole sections with their one part like other kits do. Um, it's part of that layer by yeah, layer. Yeah, it's very much a layer by layer thing to uh, one to make things line up properly so it clicks together properly yep. and also gives it a really a nice lines and yeah. weight. And it gives it a, a you, think, you actually think you got value for money? Yeah, it's, it, it's quite solid and, and, and you know it, it looks the part. I mean, I, I don't know Warthogs very well. Um, but I would assume that's a reasonably good representation. Yeah, it's a reasonably good representation for you know something that was designed for a video game loosely based on something in real life to then be constructed as a vastly miniaturised toy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, for, for me, the drawbacks, or oh, what would I say with the drawbacks? Spartans. Yeah. Um, but again, Spartans were never meant to it's be It's part of the minifigures. And they're articulated. And, yeah. Uh, so they don't look because they're they're another grade up from your Lego slash Creo yeah. type figure, aren't they? Because they're about double the size, yeah. aren't they? So, but this fits in the whole range. Yeah. So, um, I see. I I find it really hard to come up with negatives for these. I enjoy construction style kits. Um, mm. I happen to think that these are at the high end of those. Yeah. The layer for layer build on it. I feel adds adds value to it because you do spend the time doing it and if you can do one of these in two minutes then that's fun. Kind of, yeah. The quality of it is phenomenal. I mean, it's really good, it's really strong, yeah. sturdy, you know. The the way they design it is lovely. I do like the fact that they give you construction locks to help yeah. you set it up. Which are actually spare at the end. Yeah, oh yeah, and there's lots of spare parts left over from this particular yeah. kit. Uh, we did put this together correctly. Those aren't bits that we, we just went, don't know where they go. No. <laughs> it, it is a, a fairly good representation of the Warthog, or at least as fair as I think you're going to get for this yeah. style. I think it, it's just a very good kit. And I, I certainly enjoy building it. Fair enough. Right. I mean, looking at it, um, but bearing in mind I'm not a Halo fan. Yeah. Particularly. Okay. Um, I actually like Halo Wars more than I like the Halo, Halo Wars. Wars rocks. Um, I'm going to give it an eight. Um, I could very, very easily see though that a Halo fan might give it a nine or a ten. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, I, I don't know what that meant to me because I'm giving it a nine and a half. It makes you a Halo fan. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, I'm giving it a nine and a half. Okay. It's very good. The build quality is nice. Reasonable amount of time to build it. Instructions are good. It's sturdy. You know, I've never quite figured out my criteria as to what is ever going to get a 10. But, mm. that's but the thing is, at the end of the day, the only reason it's class. losing half a mark is because of the Spartans, isn't it? No, because I can kind of understand why they do it. It's, you know, at the end of the day, it's a toy. Mm. It is not a £120 figurine that's been handcrafted yeah. by, you know, nuns. <laughs> so it, it's a toy. Yeah. It's meant as a toy. And in the price range that it is, it's a phenomenally good toy. Fair enough. So, there cool. you go. I think that about wraps it up. Yeah. So, let's go with live events first of all. We have yeah. two. Yes, there's uh, First Contact Weekend, which is based around First Contact Day, which is the 5th of April, so it's the weekend of the 5th of April 2015. There's the Educating Dave Weekend, otherwise known as... Auto Assembly 2015, oh. which is the weekend before... 
the bank holiday next August. So there you go, Discworld fans. Get another convention together so I can escape it. Please. No, he's only Please. every other year. <laughs> you yeah. cannot escape. I can try. I can really, really try. Okay, there may be some others, so watch out for those. What else do we have to mention? Oh, they bring the yellow bat to the bat symbol. Yeah, yeah it's not that's doing well. not going well. No, I don't think there's many people who want the yellow bat in the bat. I, I don't care. Please. <laughs> I want the yellow back in the bad thing. Well, subscribe. Well, not subscribe. Just join up. The links are below. You'll join a group of really, really fantastic four or five other people. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> worldwide. Yeah, worldwide. I can't <laughs> believe how badly it's going. I so thought people were going to jump on the bandwagon for that, but no. Tell you what people can jump on the bandwagon for subscribing because yes. you can do so on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, there's the official Geekology website, which all of which I do. So, that's <laughs> a good night from me. That's a good night from him. Good night. Bye. <laughs>